Hello viewers and yes you're welcome to yet another exciting episode of The Life. This is the show that brings you news, testimonies and information not only what, with what's going on with the youth of the UK but the youth all over the world. In the studio with me today I've got a very good friend of mine. He was, he was here once a couple of years back. He was, you know, he shared a little bit about his testimony but now we're going to go into more detail and find out more about him and how he got to know about Jesus Christ. I'd like to introduce you to Jason. Jason, thank you for joining me on the show oh, today. Thank you, Rosh. Thank you, thank you so, so much for coming down. It's a uh, pleasure to have you again. Thank you so much. So, have you been since the last time you were here? Mm. Um, uh, beautiful. Yeah? Yeah, full of transformations. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. just experiencing the glory of the life that I'm actually inside now. Excellent. So, now, yeah. talking about the life that you're actually living now, you know, obviously mm. you wasn't always living this kind of lifestyle. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you were like before you got to know that this kind of life was available to you. Um, before, before I actually get into this life, money was the deal. You know, like uh, <laughs> most of us, most of the, the, you, no, the youth mm -hmm. are actually now, they're chasing after the cash, mm -hmm. which I didn't know was chasing after the wind. And um, I actually wanted to make money. And to make money, it, it involved a lot of things. Mm -hmm. There are different sort of things you want to you do to make money. And one of the power which I chose to go about was uh, was, was into the drug life. Mm. And, um, you and say drug life, which you mean like what, selling? Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. su supplying. Okay. And um, also, which was a bit deep, was uh, the robberies. I mean, going to doors to doors instead of doors to doors ministry was actually <laughs> doors to doors robbery, which was something that that was gained inside me. Mm. You see, the more you're doing it, the more it's becoming part of you. And I was actually into the, the life of the, the street life. Mm. And I wanted to do more for the road. I wanted to, to make a name. Mm -hmm. And uh, all them things, they all build up to, to one place. Where is that? Um, for you to become something else. You want to you respect, mm -hmm. basically. That's the one place that you're going to get the money. I mean, for me, while I was on the street, getting the money and doing all those type of robberies and all those beef, whatever I was going involved to, I wanted to build a name mm -hmm. so that so one day I can, respect, yeah, you know, I can that. get some respect when I'm walking. People know, oh, that's him. I mean, they mm -hmm. don't have to touch my family. They don't mm -hmm. have to touch my brothers. Or if any, anything is happening, they know, oh, he's in, con he's in, con he's in connect with with him. Mm -hmm. Once mm -hmm. they know he's in connect with me, they know not to touch those other guys. Mm. So I was basically going on ahead of other so yeah, to, to prepare the way for your younger ones. Yeah, for the younger one to come and yeah. It actually is is going a um, over something again and again and again mm. and again because once I got meet up with them, then at the same time I start thinking because I was a bit obviously wise in the worldwide. Mm -hmm. Street I didn't. Wise. Yeah, street wise, yeah. I was a bit sort of wise. I didn't mm. want them to rule me. So even at that age, by the time I started getting to 16, I wanted to start making my own stuff. I didn't mm. want to sh um, show or go for a robbery for anyone else because mm. it was actually a team. These okay. people come and they pick you up, they drive you. That's the doors that we're dealing with tonight. Mm. So they got this, they got that, they got that. You go there, you just chase out and get where, wherever you have to get. They told you who is in there already. Okay. They told you the room. Mm -hmm. So you, you go and grab it and the money will be talked after. All this I was doing, my parents didn't know. <laughs> because therefore, I don't talk. Mm -hmm. But they didn't know what was happening behind. Mm -hmm. But by, um, by the age of 16, 17, that's when I actually chose to start doing my own thing. I wanted to sort of... Uh, making my own group as well so mm -hmm. I can I can start running. So you could be the one. Yeah, I can talk. be somewhere there as yeah. well. I can tell them, oh, you do this, you do this and um, the money will be split this way <laughs> so I'll get my big part, I'll mm -hmm. get a big cut because I know they was getting a big cut. They was just like letting us get something, something, something just to, yeah. to, to manage. One of the things I felt sorry for my parent, mm. you know. Yeah, I was, I was actually, actually yeah. going to come to that, you know, like, was, you know, obviously you being do you, would you say that you lived like two different lifestyles? Mm. Maybe one in the house and then one on the streets. Something like that. You know, and, and how, how? What was your parents' reaction to this? Oh, kind of my parent was was they didn't they didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, how did they get every, to know about it? Um, I remember they started to. Um, I went I went out. Oh, one once one, one one time I went out. Then they called them. They told um, the police called my my, my parent. 
And that's when I was obviously under the age for them mm -hmm. to call the house and tell them your son is he. Mm -hmm. So they told my, my, my dad that, that they call me with a, with a knife. Mm -hmm. And this was a big knife, very big. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember my dad was very angry on that day. And um, that's when it actually started. Mm -hmm. Then I got home, I had to show my dad what was the knife. Where did I get the knife? I said <laughs> it was the kitchen one. He even go. <laughs> <laughs> He said, he said, this is the key, the, this is the knife that I've been looking for because I wanted to make something to, to eat and it's not here. So I was wondering, what is this knife? And um, after that, there's another knife and, you know, I start and all the time, because all the time I'm in the police station, they have to phone my parents mm -hmm, to let them know age, yeah. that I'm there because I was underage. And it got to a time I start feeling sorry for them. Mm. I'm saying, what can I do so I can come out the street? I mean... I don't want this to be happening because they really care for me. Mm -hmm. They really, they're always there. No matter what, they, my dad always, he would sit with me and start talking to me about life. But I could not satisfy him. I could mm -hmm. not give him what he wanted because the mindset has already changed. Mm -hmm. I want to please him, but you, you couldn't. there was something that just couldn't be there. It mm -hmm. couldn't re to be replaced. I couldn't replace it. I was just... They would tell me, okay, this is it. I want you to do this. I want you to do this. Um, this is the plan. He was even close to <laughs> send me back home. He yeah. said, this time you go back home. I said, Father, please, I'm not going back <laughs> home. I've changed. After a week, I'm back in the police station and wow. I'm crying. Mm. I said, I don't want to do this. But I'm, in, I'm, I'm finding myself doing it. And this is one of the things that's happening to a lot, a lot of my youngest that I took on the road, even some of the friends. They said, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be on the street no more, but they're there. Mm. Um, the reason why I was actually locked up was because of some a robbery. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, because just like I'm saying, it he, he went too deep. Mm -hmm. So it got to a point where my own friend came to tell me that one of our friends had more food than anybody else. Mm. So they told me to go and move to my own friend. Mm. And because I was hungry, I went and um, we had to, I did the movement, so I went to rob my own friend. And while I was doing that, there was police just right in the corner because he was in the park, he was all set up. They called okay. him, come and bring as much. This person wanted to buy it. And mm -hmm. I actually showed up and the guy was surprised to see me. And mm. I was, I said, Baba, it's got to be done. I'm really <laughs> sorry, but this is, this is the regulation of the, the games that we play. I mean, it had to be done, it had to be done, but the bad thing about it, the police showed up, mm -hmm. so they got me, they got me, and the, yeah, after everything, they found out that they was looking for me for something else, something mm -hmm. totally different, mm -hmm. and that's was that why. Was robbery or? No, that was a, a attempted murder. Wow. Yeah, that was, a, that was something that, that happened, and <laughs> nobody thought it was me. And mm -hmm. uh, even the thing is, the proof came out. They, they had every proof that I did, I committed wow. what was done. Mm. Everything. Even on the camera, it showed up that it was me. Mm -hmm. So I had to be inside. And while I was inside, the police came to arrest me inside for another case. So inside there was, the yeah, inside the prison. They wow. came to arrest me for another case. So, so I did, there was a lot of cases. Mm -hmm. I was dealing with a lot of cases at that time. When I, all this happened when I was still in inside. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I did it, I went inside. So mm -hmm. I was locked in and um, the cases was coming when I was inside. Wow, okay, the cases yeah. were coming while when you were I, When I was still inside, the cases were, I mean, there was about four other cases. I was facing four other cases apart from the robbery one, mm -hmm. which I, those one I didn't even think they can, they can show up like that. After mm -hmm. five months, another one was after seven months, they just, backed up wow. they all came to arrest me for different cases so i was there looking at they were saying 15 years what? yeah that's what my actually my solicitor would say say you, about 15, 15 something you may you may have to do seven seven and a half or even ipp which means you have to do a full full sentence full 15 yeah 